Here is the truth, I want some truths right now. Here is the truth, here is the truth right now. This is the truths comments edition. Subscribe here if you would like to receive the truths. Your first comment is from Red Rummox. Why are you now self mutilating with bloody tattoos? You say you're not doing drugs, no alcohol, but you still seem restless and self mutilating. Please stop, this is getting fucking ridiculous and it's ugly as well. Permission to the sex addiction, smile. You've got some uh, controversial views on the nature of addiction, my love. I haven't had a tattoo done for ages and ages. Uh, you could regard it as self mutilation, or you, I think it's self reclamation in a way. I noticed that when. Uh, Relationships end, I go on a spree of <laughs> scribbling all over my body. No, I don't care. This is my body. You might not want it, but I've done a drawing on it. <laughs> so maybe there's something like that, but I've not had a tattoo done for ages and ages. So, you know, um, and uh, what do you mean restless? Why are you saying I seem restless? That's my personality. I've always been like that. It's, I don't know. Something should get done. You're right about that. Thanks for your concern. Uh, cheers. <laughs> Jack the Lad, do a video on your view of celebrity leaked photos and hacks, says Jack the Lad. I ain't looked at any beheadings or any celebrity leaked photos, none. Just can't really be bothered to go through all the trouble like, of how I'll feel while typing it. I feel like I might feel a bit ugh, cheap or something. So I've not done it. Uh, I don't think we should really do it. I don't think the answers lie in looking at pictures of beautiful women having their privacy compromised. I don't think it's a big deal in the scheme of things, but probably trying to avoid it. KCM, I disagree that veganism is better for the planet and better for us. Vegan foods have huge carbon footprints and vegetables and fruits still exploit, endanger and kill human workers to keep prices down and supply up. Balance is best for everyone, both in the micro and macro sense. If we all went vegan tomorrow, we'd see the food industry repeat its history simply with different problems. Veganism treats the symptoms, not the disease. Apparently on an individual level, it's much better for us and into agriculture, industrialised agriculture, the sort of the uh, livestock aspect of it is having terrible detrimental global impact. No doubt about that, KCM. Uh, if we were to use the same economic model of mass industrialisation of vegan foods, that would be problematic. But you've met vegans, they're not going to have that, are they? They're going to want everything local and organic. What you want is a, a vegan diet for us as individuals. It's a bit harsh, can't impose it. Some people like food, but I think if you eat food, like this meaty food, dead person, dead cow food, then you should be much closer to where that cow was killed. And you might even, I think you might even have to do it yourself. That would create balance. Charles A, can you please explain to me why you act as if you don't know the exact name of Alex's show? You're on his multiple times. Alex Jones, yeah, I do know. I don't know the exact name, it's called something like the informational or what was it called, Cal? Info Wars. Info Wars. <laughs> I'm not pretending, that's just that, that's my personality. Is it that you don't respect him enough to remember? If you see a correlation between remembering things and respect, then, then I don't. But I don't know where that leaves people with Alzheimer's. <laughs> They're the rudest people in the world, according to your weird thing. Charles, I do respect Alex Jones. I've been on his show. There's some aspects of his belief system that I'm completely against. There's some bits that I completely agree with, but respect ain't an issue. I do respect him. Remembering things, that's something else, isn't it? I mean, there's loads of stuff I probably don't remember, but obviously I can't give you the examples because I've forgotten them. Jack Spratt. I think the root of many troubles is currency. At, the, at one time, money was a tool. Now it's more of a device of enslavement. The simple truth is the whole world is now known and owned. Every one of us is born into debt. You must buy food, you must buy shelter. There are no areas to go and build with what you find or gather what you may eat. It's basically illegal to be alive and penniless. It is, isn't it, Jack? Only one reason for this state of affairs exists. The nobility is reborn in the land of freedom and now complains dominion over every soul on earth. Most of the wealth in the world is now passed from father to son. Again! <laughs> He's furious about hereditary uh, principles. Let the next revolution commence. Jack, actually I agree with everything you've said there. Air risky music, anarcho-syndicalism, one issue with it. I like it a lot, they say. I, is how a country would appear to other countries. It's almost too idealistic to hope that this change happens globally at the same time. Perhaps with the internet we'll develop a newfound sense of community, but at this point it only feels like hope. I think what we have to do, you infer a risky music, what I believe that communities need to be formulated along different lines. A nation is only a concept primarily, I suppose, originally uh, conceived around geographical landmass, like America, except for Alaska, which is nowhere near it, and Hawaii, that's nowhere near it, is a sort of a, a landmass. Um, 
you know, in the Soviet Union, I suppose it sort of spread primarily sort of to adjacent regions out from Russia. But and for British colonialism, though, went everywhere. What we need is, I suppose, hello world. I suppose what we need is a new kind of colonialism, where we uh, we're I, we're unified by one ideology, but everyone is interdependent but independent. You know, because at the moment. The concept of nation is already hugely broken down. These ideas really only serve, as many of our other commenters have said, the uh, transnational corporations that operate, operate behind the legisl legislation that transcends those boundaries, the tr trade treaties and global agreements. So, uh, yeah, we'll just start doing it. We'll all communicate, and I think uh, we'll probably be all right. We're probably having an anarcho-syndicalist world by tea time, I would have thought. Matthew Potter. What a relief after everyone's mad names to have. Matthew Potter. Russell. How would healthcare work if we were divided into many self-governed collectives? It's a good question. It's an important question. And <laughs> I don't know. That's really going to be hard. I mean, because you do. It seems like you would require some sort of central authority to run municipal amenities like healthcare and fire services. And would you have, please, some anarchists like uh, David Graeber? You should check out. He'd say you won't need police. Everyone will just look after themselves through community values, right? And you're probably cynical now because you've lived this kind of life for ages. And I hope he's right. Ooh. Like the revolution works, but um, healthcare, we'd need some ideas around that. We definitely need. How would you have healthcare in a in a collectivized culture? I don't know. We'd have to work it. Out. Like I'm not. You know what I mean? I'm just. Russ, remember when I was on Big Brother? I don't know. I was doing the MTV Awards two years ago. Stephen Wood. Large scale investment decisions like that would be made by. Co oh, Stephen Wood's answering it. This is brilliant. Well, Matthew, let's just cut Stephen Wood out, and I'll go. Well. I reckon, Matthew, what I'd say in to solve that thing is that large-scale investment decisions like that would be made by confederations made up of elected delegates, you idiot, from self-managed workplaces, obviously. Ultimately, I reckon the workers would have final say on how all the decisions made at high level and delegates would be mandated, i.e. given specific instructions on how to vote on issues and recallable if they don't vote according to that mandate. Ultimately, there would need to be a kind of centralised coordination in many areas of production, but decisions would just be suggestions rather than orders that have to be enforced. Matthew. So, uh, thank you, Stephen Wood. Julie Cross. Can you do a full truce on taking profit out of medicine? Because I was really excited when I saw it, and although I enjoy the compliments, stroke replies, I think that this is really serious. Are you saying that the whole compliment, the compliment section is that some sort of a devil may care disposable aspect to the truth? This is where we communicate. This is where we really connect as a family. This is like meal times when we sit down together. Wizards World 7. So in your world, you want there to be a greater profit for anybody, right? What's the incentive? Even nature knows incentive is needed. You're rewarded with an orgasm when you go to the toilet. <laughs> no, he doesn't. He said reproduce. <laughs> oh! happen again mum working as a collective has been tried already african civilizations were on this planet tens of thousand years before the white man came along for the head start they had they should have been the most technological country in the world what well, mate you're applying a system of a uh, materialistic and technological judgment system to a f way of formulating societies like maybe they just maybe that mate have you considered this isn't the best that's possible like the, the best that's possible may not look like. I mean, look out the window. In a way, we've been tyrannized by the tools that said they were gonna give us freedom. When is all this time coming back? Oh, this will free up time, the washing machine, uh, all of these devices. I mean, I just don't agree, Wizard World 7, with your adjudication system. It'll be nice your way, I'm sure. Heck, I could play video games for 10 years, then wake up one day and get a job at Apple, get the same share of money as the owner. That would be great. But if that were the case, I really don't think Apple would be here. Your ideas would just push inventors to invent products where they can fully use computers and robots. AI is on our doorstep. I won't, I won't make it too hard for employers to keep using humans. The current system is one of merit, which is the most sensible way and nobody exempt, exempt. Look, we have a black president. It does end with that. Look, we have a black president. My God, sir, are you present? Why, well, yes, I am. And yet you're interesting. Everything's fine. <laughs> no, I've, I'm, you're all right, mate. I'm not having a go at you. I'm just messing around. Look, 
don't have such low expectations. A human being is a magnificent thing. Society can be an incredible thing. We've achieved wonderful things through technology. I love all these bits and bobs. They're fantastic, lovely objects, camera that we're shooting it on. But uh, now is a different time with different priorities. The Earth is telling us what the priorities are by <laughs> imploding and crumbling and heating up too much and the inequality is telling us what to do. Just have to read the symbols. I'm sure there was a time where having a flint axe was really useful and we had flint axes and onward and upwards until laptops. But now the messages are different messages and we have to respond to those messages. P. Diddy, although it's not the one that I remember doing a film with because it seems to be some sort of white bloke. It seems like all Russell's material is at its core an advertisement for a ride on his cock. <laughs> it's not an advert for it. Constant sexual suggestions and talk of his dick. Disgusting. Any woman that has sex with him is going to be very disappointed by the experience. I mean, perhaps I'm behaving in an overtly flirtatious way. I might have picked up sort of habits and techniques and methods. But P. Diddy, I think you're being very harsh. <laughs> okay, well, that is the true's comments. Thank you very much. Keep your comments coming in. We love it. We love talking with you. Subscribe here. Subscribe to the true. Subscribe here. That was some truths. That was some truths today. That was some truths. The, 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 the truths today. Nose is a tool that is abused to fool you and to leave you scared and confused. Truths is like the nose. If the nose was true, I want some truths. Let's have some truths.